Tom, I'm with UC Health, and welcome to Springfield Township Touch-A-Truck. So what we are here today to talk about is our mobile stroke unit. We're gonna tell you a little bit of what's different and some of the stuff that's the same with our mobile stroke unit. So what the mobile stroke is different about, like for instance, the other ambulances you saw, is this ambulance can take a CAT scan or maybe you might think of an X-ray. That is taking a picture of the inside where your camera would take a picture of the outside. So that's really neat because if someone is having what we call a stroke, and you may say, well, what is a stroke? Well, a stroke is when a blood vessel or one of your veins in your head gets blocked. That could be very dangerous and that could be very debilitating to a person that's older. And usually it's an older person. Usually it doesn't happen to younger people. So this ambulance gets called by the local fire and EMS folks and we respond and we come to help someone who's having a stroke. Our ambulance have air conditioning in the back of the truck and power all the time. So either the truck has to be running, the computer is on for the CT scanner, and also the air conditioner is on in the back of the ambulance to keep the equipment cool. If the equipment gets hot, guess what? It doesn't work very well. Just like we do when we're outside playing and we get hot and sweaty, we don't work very well. So that's what happens with this. We need to keep the truck and the vehicle cool and have power all the time. So we have what we call a leveling system on our truck. So when we respond to a, say your house or someone's house, grandma and grandpa's house, our truck has to be level. So the truck has to be similar to what it is right now. If your street has a hill, we can't level it. We have to go somewhere that the truck is level. So we're gonna talk about that here in a minute. How about, let's go and look inside, okay? When, I, when we get into the ambulance, number one, we're gonna turn our red lights and siren on to get through traffic. And don't forget, what do you do when you hear sirens and you see lights? You go to the right. So if you ever have your, you're in your car with your parents, you go to the right with the car to get out of our way. Well, we appreciate that. So what I do is I take my headsets and I put it on and I talk to our, what they call a dispatcher. So I tell them we're en route to where we're going. And I turn my lights on and siren on and we go. So when I get to where we're going, I have what I, I'm called a leveling system. Like I said, remember before I said the truck has to be level. So right here is what we call our leveling system. It's in the green, right? Well, guess what? Green means go and red means stop. So if it's red, I'm on a hill, I can't level. So we have to go somewhere else to park the truck. Also, I have a GPS. It tells me where to go. So the person who sits next to me, Sam, he will tell me how to get to where we're going so we know how to get to your house. I also have a seat that has air, an air seat. It's really neat. I can raise it and lower it. When I'm driving, I have a seat that bounces up and down and it's air, it's an air ride. So as we bounce along, my seat bounces up and down. Pretty neat. When listen, that's how I can adjust my seat so it's really comfortable to drive when I'm driving the truck. When I get into the truck, I'm gonna turn on my red lights. As you can see, my lights are flashing. So that's what you see when I'm coming down the road. And also, I have, oh my goodness, I got some noise. And that's our siren. That's what people hear when they're driving down the road and that alerts them that we're coming so that way they can pull over to the right to get out of our way. Now we're gonna go into the back of the ambulance to see what kind of neat stuff that we have in the back to show you. Did you see the step come up? Okay, now we're back in the ambulance and I'm gonna show you what we call the CT scanner or the donut hole, cause that's what it looks like, a big donut. So these protect the scanner and it just takes a couple minutes to get these clips off. This just rolls up. And sometimes finding the little seat belts when you roll it up is a little difficult. So here we go, here we go, I found it. Now, you may ask, what are these blue things? Those are lead shields. This puts out what's called radiation and it's not good for us. So this is a lead shield that protects people from getting radiation. And as you can see, it looks like a big donut. So this is where the person's head goes after when we do the scan. In order for this to work, right behind us, we have a computer. So this computer operates the CT scan. So we have to call University Hospital and put in what they call an order. 
So they put an order in for the CAT scan, and then when that order is put in, then we can actually do the scan. So there has to be some computer work first in order to get that scan. All right, well, what we have here is Sam. He's one of my, our paramedics. He's gonna be the person that's gonna lay on the stretcher. And Teresa is the CT tech. She's the one who runs the CAT scan. The patient's head is right where the donut hole is. So what Teresa does is she moves the scanner forward and Sam's head is gonna be inside of that donut hole. Now, you may ask, is that scary? Not at all. It's not scary. It's just a piece of machinery going over your head. Some people do get a little scared and tell you what, we tell them it's no problem. You can close your eyes and think of your favorite place. So what happens now is all of us have to get out because remember I told you before about the uh, radiation. So once the scan's ready, we step out, they push a button and then the scan starts. And as the scan starts, the CAT scanner slides out and takes pictures of the brain. Pretty slick, huh? It's a little different than what, what everybody's used to from an ambulance. All right, so remember when I said that everybody has to get out of the ambulance when we're doing the scan? Well, say the person, maybe it's grandma or grandpa, and maybe they're a little scared. Well, we can have a family member, like their daughter or a son, wear this special lead vest. And what that lead vest does, it helps the radiation from getting inside of you because radiation is not good, right? Remember I mentioned that? So we can have somebody in here with, say, grandma or grandpa or whoever it is, to help them feel comfortable while they have, they're having the scan. So the person on the stretcher is not doing very well. So what we do is call our telemedicine doctor. Pretty neat, huh? So we use this tablet up here and we do what everybody knows, most of you know, is FaceTiming. So the doctor will be on this screen FaceTiming with us. So we call the doctor on the phone. The doctor will talk to the person on the stretcher, right? So the doctor will ask the patient to do different things. And the doctor can watch the patient do things. Now, if you're having a stroke, you may not be able to move your arm, blink your eye, smile right. So what the doctor and our team that run in the ambulance are trying to do is figure out what is wrong with the person, what they can and can't do, to find out if we need to take another CAT scan or if we have to give them some special medicine that will help open up the blockage in the brain. But I mentioned before, a stroke is when a blood vessel, like a vein, is clogged in our brain, just like, you know, maybe your drain at home gets clogged. Well, the, the arteries or blood vessels in your brain could get clogged. So that's what your doctor is, the doctor is looking at to find out what we have to do with this patient.